Right, welcome back guys, my name is Devin, and today I'm back with another video. This video wasn't well planned, just saying right now, but what I'm going to be doing is installing Haku drivers um, and see how they perform in OSU. If you guys don't know what Haku drivers are, they are basically uh, aftermarket drivers for your drawing tablet. Uh, they're supposed to remove uh, cursor smoothing and remove some latency. Uh, this either works very well or not very well, depending on what tablet you have. I have a Wacom uh, tablet, Intos S 2018. I don't know if it's going to work for me, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to install the drivers, give a little verdict, and see how it does. Let's get straight into it, boys. Alright, so just before I start, I'm going to let you know, guys, that there's going to be a link in the description to the GitHub page where you can find the drivers. Here are all the files. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to extract this to my desktop. And this is what it's going to look like. If you have WinRAR, then that's basically what it's going to look like. You're going to extract it to your desktop or wherever you want. And depending on what tablet you have, there's a tutorial that you can follow. Um, you're either going to install the multi driver or uh, the Huya driver or whatever tablet you have. Uh, I'm going to install the V multi driver, press enter to install. Click yes. Install Roll Multi F, updating devices, press enter, drivers installed successfully. And that should be it. Now, if I open everything connected to Wacom CTL4100, you guys can see it over there. Um, what I'm going to do is. I'm gonna go Wacom area and I'm gonna load from backup. I've made a backup of my um, uh, tablet area and everything. And here it should be. Set and this is everything actually. Yeah, I have absolutely everything. It's for left handed. Um, and I think this is it. I think we can just close this. And then we can start OSU. And I think we can just get straight into it.
Let me show you how to keep the dice rolling when you're doing that thing over there. Hey, 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 Alright, so overall, other than the shit gameplay that you guys have seen, um, this is because I am also getting used to the new pen grip. Uh, I've been changing them a lot over the past few months. Um, I don't know why, but um, other than the shit gameplay, I really think that this driver, um, like I have mixed feelings about this. First of all, I feel like what it tends to do is kind of give you like a placebo effect that it like makes your aim a bit like faster by maybe changing the raw sensitivity a little bit i feel like i don't know if that's true but that's what it feels like for me and on my tablet it might not feel the same for you but it definitely does feel like it's removed some of the delay um and the cursor smoothing just isn't really there anymore uh, so i do like the drivers i feel like they are they might be useful for people who are looking for just um just faster um uh, movement, you know, like fast, like if they're into like fast jumps and like cross screen jumps, they might find the drivers better. Um, obviously, I'm not a professional, so I can't really give you guys like an in depth little like tutorial and like opinion on this, but this is just my little opinion. Um, and yeah, I feel like they're good. I'm gonna keep using them for about a week. If I like them, then I'm gonna keep using them. If I don't, I might switch back, but it does depend. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to try to upload more. Uh, if you guys liked it, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.